Hello everyone, I'll go ahead and show you exactly how to install iPadOS 14 on any iPad that supports it, which is a ton of them. It's iPad Air 2 slash iPad Mini 4, all the way to the iPad 4th generation, iPad Pro 4th gen. So really any iPad that has came out pretty recently to about that 2015-2014 era, your iPad will be supported, which is really cool. Now I'm going to tell you, iPadOS 14 is pretty stable. I probably still wouldn't recommend a ton of people to install it, but I think it's really stable for the most part. The sad thing is, compared to iOS 14, going from iPadOS 13 to iPadOS 14 isn't really too big of a you know update so far as I can tell. Some things like widgets, you know, you can't really even paste them here anymore, which is really annoying. But regardless, the first thing you want to do is make sure you make a backup of your iPad. So everything that you have, back it up and then drop it like it's not. Just kidding. You want to back up everything from your iPad because if the update fails, then you're probably going to lose everything on your iPad unless you have a restore or backup. So make sure you have a backup in iCloud or iTunes out of a, or iTunes or files or whatever you want to do. Figure out how to back up your stuff and then go from there. So once you're fully backed up, what you can do is make sure your iPad's connected to Wi-Fi or something. And you want to go to the website that is linked down below, which is betaprofiles.com. And this website is a place where you can get tons of different profiles from. I'm not sponsored by them in any way. They could be trash, I don't know. But every time I've used them, they've been pretty good to me. So what you can do from here is scroll down until you find iPadOS Beta. So as you can see, it's right in the middle. And right here, you want to click Download. So it'll take a second. It'll say Download Beta Profile, whatever. You want to click Download anyway. A little dialog box will come up just like this. And what you want to do, and this is very important, you want to click Allow. Now once you click Allow, you want to go ahead and hop out of here and you want to go into your Settings app. And once you're in your Settings app, you want to hit General, which is right here. And you want to scroll all the way down until you see Profiles and Device Manager, or just Profiles, which is right here. So once you see this, now I have two because I've already installed it and I'm not going to reinstall it. But what you want to do here, and what you usually do is click on it. You'll see a bunch of different stuff right here. You'll see on the top right, an Install button. You want to go in and click that. It'll tell you to type in your password. Once you do type in the password, you want to click Agree in the top right corner. It'll say Install Profile. Let's go and install it. I already have it installed, so we'll see what happens. It'll tell you to restart your device. So you want to go ahead and restart it. It'll take a couple of seconds. Sometimes I've honestly ran into some issues where the device wouldn't restart, so I had to re, so I had to hard restart it. And luckily for me, my iPad does restart. So let's go ahead and give it a second. Now, as you can see, my iPad did restart. So let's get into it. So now that it restarted, all you have to do is go into your Settings app, and you want to scroll back down into General right here. Now you want to scroll up until you see software update which is right here. Now it'll go ahead and look for that new beta or that new software. Now as you can see I'm already on iOS 14.0 so it's not going to look for it or even install it. But what you'll do here in this situation and the sunlight is being weird on me right now. An update will be here. You'll go ahead and go and hit install and download and then it'll go ahead and just download like any other update and then from there you'll go ahead and click install now once it's fully downloaded and everything. Then you're set. You'll pretty much restart and have iOS 14 on your device. So that's really pretty much the process. That's exactly how to do it. Not an insanely hard process, but again, you will probably need to be a little cautious and make sure you have everything backed up before you go and actually install it. So that's really pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That means so much. But definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. It means so much if you guys get hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my main channel. More important than everything, also, every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out to them.